Hey guys, guys, I'm back from my very awesome first week back at school. So, here's the first part of our new story. Does anybody want one more pancake? Dad stood by the stove with a spatula in his hand. No thanks, said Lizzie. No thanks, said her younger brother Charles at the exactly the same time. They stared at each other. Pickle Jinx! yelled Charles. Lizzie was. fought fast. She was ready this time. Beautiful genius, she said. To Laugh. The bean started to go. And he banged his fork in his syrup. <laughs> he yelled. The bean was Lizzie's youngest brother. His real name was Adam, but nobody ever called him that. He would probably be the bean member until he started crying. Charles Brown. <sighs> Come on, Lizzie, he began. Lizzie glared at him. Charles Brown's eyes. Come on, beautiful genius. Really? Are you sure about... Lizzie ran her finger through with a puddle of syrup on her plate. She licked her finger, smiled on it. Yep. She said, that's how pickle jinx works. Whatever word I say, you say pickle jinx. Jinx, that's the word what you'll have to call me for the rest of the day. Pickle jinx was all the rage in Lizzie's fourth grade class and Charles' second grade class, too. Yeah, I remember. Charles slumped in his seat. I liked it better the time you said, No way! Lizzie grinned at them. That was exactly why she bound to be prepared for the next pickle jinx. Mom pushed back in her chair. Well, whatever you two call each other, do it quietly, please. I'm looking forward to a nice, relaxing night. All I wanted to do was lie on the couch with a belly full of pancakes and work on crossword puzzles. I'll clear the table, Lizzie volunteered. Really? Mom looked surprised. Thanks, sweetie. That would be great. It's very nice of you, Lizzie. She picked up the thick newspaper and yawned, heading for the living room for a nap. Dad ruffled Lizzie's hair and followed Mom out of the kitchen. As soon as her parents were on sight, Lizzie smiled down at Buddy. <laughs> the adorable brown and white puppy sitting next to her in her chair. His brown... I shone with hope as he stared back for his brown wing cold and the cutest. How could you resist me? Look. Buddy was the best puppy ever. And Lizzie had known a lot of puppies to compare him to. The Pearsons fostered puppies. They took care of one's ones until they found each one the perf perfect forever family. They cared for wild puppies and mellow puppies. Big ones and tiny ones. But most of them stayed for just a few days or weeks. Buddy was the only one who stayed forever. He was part of the Pearson's family. Lizzie was dog crazy. She loved every dog and every puppy. But there was no doubt that she loved Buddy the best. Guess what? Lizzie whispered to him if he was in place. Lizzie! Charles scoffed. You're not going to! Lizzie swiveled her head and rounded. Give Charles a look. Charles, Charles, Charles. Oh, I mean, beautiful. Mold. You know, Mom says we're not allowed to let Buddy lick our plane. Lizzie put her finger over her lips. Shh, she said. Just this once, maple syrup is his favorite treat ever. She knew it was a safe treat, too. Some snacks weren't good for dogs, like chocolate gr or grapes. But a few drizzles of maple syrup would be fine. Charles hesitated. He looked down at Buddy, who stared back and then put a paw on Charles' legs. Charles didn't nod it. Lizzie knew he couldn't resist Buddy either. Okay, he said, grinning down at her as they both put on their plates to the floor. Buddy went to 
work, licking so hard that he pushed the... the plate across the kitchen. <laughs> Yelled the bean, Bunny like syrup! Shh! Lizzie put a finger to her lips. Bunny won't get syrup if Mom hears you. The bean put both his hands over his mouth and watched his eyes dancing as Bunny licked every drop off of Lizzie's plate. He did one after Charles' mind, too. He said, holding up his plate so quickly that syrup began to drip onto his lap. Lizzie grabbed it and put it down. Down. There you go, she said lovingly. Bunny's tail wagged so happily that it thumped off of Lizzie's chair. He licked up every bit of syrup and then sat back, licked his chomps, and snored as he looked hopefully at Lizzie. That's it, she said, holding up her hands. Mom and Dad never seemed to end up with extra syrup on their plates. She hung, she cleared the Tails and stuck the dish into the like her mom. Um, she was going for a nice relaxing, relaxing Sunday. Lizzie had been really busy lately between school, volunteering at the animal, animal shelter, and drumming up her dog walking business. She and her best friend Maria were partners in AAA Dynamic Dog Walkers. They walked dozen dogs single day, every single day after school. Even dog crazy Lizzie admit that it seemed too much. Much. Hey Lizzie, this time I want to. This on Charles. Oh, I mean, hey beautiful genius, want to play catch out? Sorry, no thanks. Lizzie was enjoying her pickle jeans. I'm going to work on my scrapbook. Lizzie kept a scrapbook of all the puppies the Pearsons fostered. And she was hiding it. Up in her room, room she was painting a picture of a sweet, energetic, black la chocolate lab named Coco. And when the phone rang, Lizzie, her mom called after a few minutes. It's your Anna Mana. She needs your help with a puppy.